On this episode of Intermittent Fasting, we are going to talk about the best way to lose a maximum amount of weight, fat loss without losing muscle mass. Let's discuss which is the best fasting period to do. And science has shown that the 16-8 intermittent fast is the best to lose maximum weight loss and without losing muscle mass. And this is where you fast for 16 hours every day and you eat within only an eight hour period. And I find another little trick is to mix it up. So this means don't just every night finish dinner at eight and then eat again the next day at 12 o'clock, which is the most common times people have chosen that works best for them. But I find if you finish eating at six and then eat again the next day at 10 and the next day you do eight and finish at 12, etc., you mix it up because your body's smart and your body already knows if you're doing eight to 12 every day, oh, I'm not gonna be fed till 12 o'clock the next day. So my metabolism will slow down. So trick your system and mix it up and change each time that you finish and work it in with your schedule, whether you've got a dinner or you've got nothing on that evening, whether you're just going to finish after a late lunch and then fast again until the next day, work it in with your schedule. And this makes intermittent fasting so much easier. And another tip to lose maximum weight loss while you're intermittent fasting is to drink lots of liquids in the fasting period. And this also makes fasting so much easier because every time you feel a bit hungry, get a big glass of water and put in some MCT oil and some pink Himalayan salt and this helps you stop feeling so hungry. Drink lots of black coffee and just make sure you have loads of liquids throughout the day. And if you are prone to have uh, artificial sweeteners like saccharin and sucralose and equal, they've actually been found that they don't spike insulin levels. But as any health warrior knows, there has been proven adverse health effects to having these nasty chemicals in your body. So if you do care about your health, try and just wean yourself off the artificial sweeteners and just have black coffee, black tea, plenty of water just on its own. But add some MCT oil, which helps push you further into ketosis and make sure you put those salts in the water. As in my last video, which I'll put a link to at the end, when you fast, you are losing salts and this is draining your magnesium and your potassium. So it's really important when fasting to keep topping up your salt levels. And the easiest, best way to do this is to put some pink Himalayan salt or some Celtic salt into your water or add some nice cell food or a good mineral liquid supplement. And another tip to speed up weight loss, lose more fat and make sure you don't lose that muscle mass is to consume 80% of good protein when you're eating and 20% of carbohydrates. So this is good grass-fed organic meats, organic eggs, some good collagen, and you can get this in loads of collagen supplements. They're so popular right now. And eat some really good organic vegetables because they actually have very high protein levels. And make sure that you consume 80% of your foods, unprocessed foods, and only 20% uh, of the more unhealthy processed foods like pastas, pizzas, and chocolates. And it's so much easier to continue fasting where you still get to eat the things you like, but just moderate that. And another tip to speed up your weight loss and make sure you don't lose muscle mass when intermittent fasting is to make sure that within that eight hour eating window, you don't just consume all the calories that you would in one day. So try and just restrict the calories so you're not basically eating what you would have eaten in one day within an eight hour window. Also consuming good quality protein instead of nutrient poor carbs actually helps you feel less hungry and makes you feel fuller. So during that eating window, you're actually going to eat less because you're filling up on things that are sustaining you and actually filling you and reducing your hunger instead of eating unhealthy carbs. Another tip to speed up your weight loss and make sure you maintain your muscle mass when you're intermittent fasting is when to exercise. So when you're fasting, you're already using fat for fuel. So it's really important to exercise during your fasting period because you're doubling up and you're burning fat while you're fasting. So that's another really good tip. And another tip to speed up weight loss and make sure you maintain muscle mass is to finish your last meal at least four 
hours before you sleep. It's really important to when you sleep, you have a really good night's sleep. And you can only do this is when your body is resting, not when all your blood flow is going to your stomach to digest food, because you're not going into the deep, deep, deep sleep rhythms you need to go into. Your brain isn't getting the brain flush it needs, which you can only do when it's not concentrating on digesting food. And this is where your brain cells shrink and the debris and inflammation and toxins around your brain are allowing to be flushed out and you're getting a brain detox while you're sleeping. This can only be done if you allow four hours before you go to bed. So that's a really great tip to finish your last meal at least four hours hours before you, you go to sleep that night. Another tip to make sure you have maximum weight loss, fat loss, and maintain muscle mass while you're fasting is to make sure you have a fantastic night's sleep. Sleep is so important when fasting because one, when you wake up in the morning, you'll feel less hungry. If you've had a poor night's sleep, you'll wake up feeling hungrier than if you've had a good night's sleep. So take a good quality magnesium supplement or a melatonin supplement. And as I said, get that four hours uh, break between uh, your, your last meal and when you go to sleep and this will help you have a really uh, much better night's sleep. What I do to help me get a great night's sleep and I've been doing this now for quite some time and it really works is I take my phone just before I go to bed I put my phone in the bathroom or outside my bedroom and each day, part of my morning walk, I ground, which is earthing or grounding, is where you put your feet on the soil and it actually lets you recharge your body. And this is incredibly good for lowering blood pressure and helping with a good night's sleep and reducing stress levels and has been proven to help with weight loss. So every day on your walk, do a long walk and then stop somewhere. I do it along the Brisbane River every morning. I take my dog Gustav for a big long walk, walk along the river, across the bridge, back again, and then I stop and I take off my shoes and I put them on the grass while he has a rest. And I'm telling you, I can't wait to kick those shoes off and touch the earth because you just feel so calm and so relaxed. And I assure you, you will have a much, much better night's sleep by just earthing or grounding for 30 minutes each day. You can do this on rock, on sand, on soil, on grass, on concrete even, and wood. If you think about it, so many people never take their shoes off and touch the earth. They're even on the beach and they've got shoes on. They're walking on the grass and they've got shoes on. So just take your shoes off for 30 minutes, sit in the garden or take your shoes off on your walk. Or if you're in a cafe and it's got a wooden deck, take your shoes off and just sit with your feet on the wood. I'm telling you, it makes such a fantastic difference and will certainly help with your weight loss and your enhanced sleep. And another tip to speed up your weight loss while you're intermittent fasting is to get up every morning and do a morning walk. Getting up every morning and doing a 20 to 30 minute walk every morning, you're getting natural vitamin D, you're speeding up your weight loss because your body is already using fat for fuel. And now you're using double the amount of fat for fuel as your body's using more fat to exercise. So there you have it. That is some great tips on how to speed up weight loss during intermittent fasting. My name's Gabrielle Amies and I'm an intermittent fasting coach and mentor. I've spent the best part of my life studying natural health and I've just spent five months in India and Sri Lanka studying health, staying at ashrams and health retreats. And so in each episode on intermittent fasting, I am going to delve deeper into the secrets to living a healthier, happier, and longer life. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in my next episode on the amazing benefits of intermittent fasting. Go, 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 go.